Copilot versus Codium, which is right for you. Hello and welcome to our channel, WebWiz. In this tutorial, I'm going to make a comparison review between Copilot and Codium. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. So Copilot and Codium are both AI-powered code assistants that can help you write faster and better code. However, they have some differences in terms of features, pricing, security, and performance. So now, let's start first by knowing this platform, Copilot or GitHub Copilot. So basically, GitHub Copilot is an AI pair programming that offers autocomplete style suggestion as you code, in which it can be managed through personal accounts with GitHub Copilot individual or through organization accounts with GitHub Copilot business. And some of the features that this platform GitHub Copilot provide including analyzing the context in the file you are editing and also providing suggestions based on billions of lines of open source code. While the other platform called Codium, it is also an AI-powered code auto-completion tool that provides code suggestions and accelerates the coding process, in which it is a free code acceleration toolkit built on cutting-edge AI technology, offering code completion in over 70-plus languages and supporting various integrated development environments. And aside from that, Codium is developed by the deep learning specialist company Exafunction and is known for its free forever access, enhanced security, and GPT-4 features. And aside from that, it also includes functionalities such as code completion, code explanation, refactoring, translation, search, and chat capabilities. And now, to access this platform, Codium, they also offer a variety of pricing plan that you can avail. And as you can see, they offer a free plan for individual and also teams, which is amounting to $12 per seat per month. And of course, the enterprise plan. And below here, you will see the corresponding list of benefits that are included on each plan. And as you can see, the free plan including the benefits or features such as rapid code, autocomplete, in editor, AI assistant, unlimited usage, train on permissive data, support via Discord, and encryption in transit. While on the other hand, the pricing option that also offer on Copilot or GitHub Copilot is this Copilot Business and Copilot Enterprise. While for individuals, they also offer a $10 per month, which is this Copilot Individual, or that is $100 per year. And some of the feature or benefits it included, such as code completions, chat, and more indie developers and freelancers. While in terms of their functionality, GitHub Copilot is an AI pair programming that offers autocomplete style suggestion as you code. It analyzes the context in the file you are editing as well as related files and offers suggestion from within your text editor. And from here, you could also receive suggestion from GitHub Copilot either by starting to write the code that you want to use or by writing natural language comment describing what you want the code to do. And also, GitHub Copilot supports numerous languages and is integrated with popular editors like Nevomim, JetBrains, IDS, Visual Studio, and Visual Studio Code. So basically, GitHub Copilot offer a single and multi-line code generation as its functionality. And the supported IDES, which is the VS or Visual Studio Code. While Codium, on the other hand, it also offers functionalities such as code completion, code explanation, refactoring, translation, search, and chat capabilities, in which Codium supports over 70 plus languages and works with various integrated development environments. And it also has a non permissive license using the MIT license, which allows people to use the code for commerce or any other reason. Additionally, Godgem has an AI-powered autocomplete feature that allows developers to autocomplete faster than thought, reducing boilerplate coding and allowing developers to more effectively find and use APIs. So basically, the functionality of Godgem is a single and multi-line code generation in IDE, integrated chat, and search, while its supportive IDEs is VS Code, JetBrains, Visual Studio, Jupyter, Chrome, 
Vim, Emux, Eclipse, Sublime, Dex, and Web IDEs. And now, in terms of their supported languages, Cordium support the languages of C++, C, Dart, Elixir, Go, Haskell, HTML, Java, JS, Julia, Kotlin, and many more. While on the other hand, under the Copilot or GitHub Copilot, the supported languages it offers such as C, C++, Go, Java, JS, PHP, Python, Ruby, Scala, TS, and more with potentially lower quality. So basically, GitHub Copilot is trained on all languages that appear in public repositories, and the quality of suggestions you receive may depend on the volume and diversity of training data for each language. And also, GitHub Copilot is designed to be language agnostic, meaning it can provide assistance in various programming languages. However, languages with less representation in public repositories may produce fewer or less robust suggestions. While on the other hand, in Codium platform, the languages, it allows developers to use Codium for code completion, search, and chat capabilities across different programming languages and environments. And now, in terms of the latency and suggestion quality of Codium and GitHub, Copilot, they have been discussed in various sources in which Codium has improved its infrastructure and extension logic addressing previous latency issues. And the suggestion generation latencies of both tools are reasonable, with quality of being a significant factor in the overall value to a developer, in which users have reported that Codium is more predictable and has improved in completion quality, with a functional that interface making it popular choice for some developers. So in terms of latencies and suggestion quality, a detailed analysis rates Codium at 8 over 10 for latency and 9 over 10 for suggestion quality. On the other hand, GitHub Copilot has been noted to have issues with latency and suggestion quality in some reviews. Since some users have reported issues with latency and suggestion quality in some reviews, while others have praised its extensive training on billions of lines code, and its context-aware recommendations tailored to a project style and patterns, and the quality of suggestions you receive may depend on the volume and diversity of training data for each language, with well-represented languages like JavaScript producing more robust suggestions. And because of that, Copilot has a latency rate of 7 over 10 and suggestion quality rate of 9 over 10. And now that we know the similarities and differences of both platforms, I can say that Copilot and Kojum have different strengths and weaknesses in which Copilot is more affordable and simple while also less secure and flexible. On the other hand, Kojum is more powerful and versatile but also more complex and experimental. However, the choice between the two platforms depend on your preferences, needs, and skills. So I hope this will help you to make an informed decision. So that is just a comparison review between Copilot versus Kojum. Thank you.